In this series of tutorials, we want to make this little application here, play music with a switch. So essentially we're just using one switch to enable us to listen to six pieces of music. Now it could be a lot more, it could be 60 pieces of music, but it will give a user who perhaps cannot use the keyboard or the mouse, but they can hit a switch or maybe a space bar to control what they're listening to. It also could be very useful for someone who is visually impaired. They simply would have to just press the space bar or the switch to select the music they want to listen to and then they sit and listen to it and then when it's over they scan round to find another piece of music and then they can listen to that. Let's just press the space bar, simulate a switch press. So a scan box comes over the first item and we listen to the music. If we don't like that, we press the space bar again and we hear that piece of music. Okay, let's press the space bar again on to that location. Okay, let's listen to the next one. And if we just want to listen to that, we don't do anything. We just sit there and listen to it. Or we can choose to move on. We can listen to that. Or the next one. So I press again and I get a little relief. There's nothing playing now, so I can just have a rest before I start listening again. One of the things that I've had to watch out for when making this is that if the user happened to hold their finger down on, say, the space bar or the switch continuously, that the scan would not keep moving around very fast through the options that are available. So I've put in a little time delay on each one of these. So you can't just press the space bar straight away to get the next one. You do have to wait about one second. And that does mean that if you hold your finger down on the space bar, that every second the box will appear from this one to this one and then to this one. I'm just assuming you may be using this with uh, younger users and maybe switch training. And there's always the temptation for them to hold down the space bar all the time or the switch all the time and things start to go strange on the screen. So that's what we want to make. Let's close this, exit, let's open up Swishmax, and I want to choose 1024 by 768 and let's get started.